Congratulations, Laura. How's that feel? Uh, it's a great feeling, obviously, a hometown team. I grew up ever since I moved here from Russia, and I couldn't be happier. What do you know about them? Uh, of course, like a uh, favorite team of mine always, and uh, I've always been watching the Leafs. I've grew up in it ever since like they invited me to their little combine. I couldn't have been more happy, and I was just so excited to come out this day. Did you have a favorite player? Uh, I, n I never really did, but I mean, I like Zaitsev right now. He's, he's probably my favorite. Have a player in the league you want to like model your game after? Uh, yeah, I gotta say Victor Hedman. Ever since he's came into the league, and I'm, just, I'm a defenseman. I've always watched him. Played in the GTHL. Maybe give us a little uh, explanation of your background, Russia, and of course uh, your time in, in North America. Uh, well, I moved uh, here to Canada about 10 years ago. Uh, I always lived roughly in the same area, in the Etobicoke area, and uh, grew up in Toronto. And yeah, I've been playing in the G since. Since I was young, obviously, and uh, that was that was a good time. So I enjoy that. Did you move to Toronto to play hockey, or is it your family? Uh, no, my family just moved for a better opportunity. I never really thought anything with hockey would work out, but here I am now, I guess, and I couldn't be happier. You played over in Russia. Then? Uh, I started playing over in Russia, yeah, and I just kind of continued it and it seemed to work out for me. How old were you? Uh, seven. So this is going to be my eleventh year here. I guess you speak from the Yeah, I do, of course. What does your family do? What does your dad do? Uh, my mom is a teacher, and uh, my dad is HVAC heating and cooling. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good idea that uh, the Leafs were interested? Did you have a uh, I, Yeah, of course. I, I knew. Obviously, you never know until you know, but I, I had some fairly good conversations with all the scouts and whatnot. So. Did you have uh, sort of expectations where you thought you might be taken? Uh, no, I just I just wanted to get drafted and I just want to start working right away. So I'm just excited. How did it feel to hear your name? Uh, unbelievable, honestly, speechless. I started crying. I can't lie. It's unbelievable. How would you describe your game and where it's at right now? Uh, I'm a two-way defenseman. Uh, I'm a pretty big guy, so obviously shut down role more player, but I can get I can make plays obviously. Confident in my offensive abilities. Uh, talk about your last season in Flint and what you're uh, planning to work on to bring into the next season. Uh, well, last season I kind of obviously I got traded at the start. I didn't really know what was going to happen, but I talked to the coach said, like, you're in your spot, and that's what I did. And this year they're uh, obviously looking for me to be more of a role player because we're losing quite a few guys. So that's uh, I got to really sum the game up for next season. Are you worried about going to flip? Water problems there? Uh, I didn't really know what was going on, but I saw it as a better opportunity first, first and foremost, before anything else, just to play, and that's all I wanted to do. You're, you're in the part of Flint that's okay, right? Yeah, yeah. The billets and stuff are great, so I can't complain. Can you tell us about your game and what, where you want to improve still? Uh, right now, I'm just uh, looking, since I'm a bigger guy, I'm looking to improve my skating and my pairing, stuff like that, more or less. Do you know much about the Leafs prospect system right now? And the um, I know that, that they're like very good at developing their prospects and they have uh, a great system like with the Marlies and all in the HL and like, I'm excited <laughs> to see how that goes. Did any of your uh, teammates give you any uh, advice coming into today? Uh, all the boys wish me luck, obviously, and uh, a couple, obviously, Nick Commando was drafted last year, just said, you know what, don't even worry about it, and just whatever happens, happens, and just are you go aware the flow. Are you aware in the last two hours they've dropped to two, six, 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 I am aware of that, yes, <laughs> but I'm, I'm ready to get to work, and I'm excited. If you were to play internationally, would it be Russia or Canada? Uh, I have to say Russia, Absolutely. but if I got that choice, yeah. Do you have anything to say back to the fans back in Flint? Uh, just uh, thanks for coming out and like we got some awesome fans and uh, I love being there. So. Has Russia asked? Uh, no, not yet. Who were you in contact with with the Leafs? Uh, Lindsey Hofford. Lindsey was always a coach in the G, so he kind of knew me from a while back. And uh, uh, Garth Malarchuk, obviously he, con he was one of the first guys to contact me as well. So. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome.